Thanks for joining us. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And at this hour, more protests taking part across the streets of the tri state right now. People demanding racial justice and reforms to police. And these protesters here marched to the Brooklyn Borough Hall just a few minutes ago. Protests continue across the city and across the country. Hundreds of protesters marching in Carroll Gardens above the BQE right here. Meanwhile, after several nights, Mayor de Blasio has now lifted the city's curfew early. It was supposed to stay in effect for one more night. That was going to be tonight. And now the mayor also announcing several reforms to the NYPD. That includes cuts to its $6 billion budget. And it's the first hint at reforms since the city protests began 10 nights ago. Those proposed reforms, though, have not stopped the protests. Chopper 4 above these protesters marching to Washington Square Park. And News 4's Adam Harding live in Union Square, where protesters also are gathering for another peaceful demonstration. Adam. Another peaceful demonstration, Adam. There is change in the air. You can feel it and you can hear it. And tonight, the mayor is promising change is coming to New York. The sounds of change echoing across the city. As a new song emerges at Union Square Park. Everybody already knows why we're out here. We're here to, one, change the system because I feel like it's been going on for too long. Organizers tonight refusing to sing the praises of City Hall. I do think that the conversation is definitely different. I do think that there's way more attention to the Black Lives Matter movement. Instead, they're helping write a new verse aimed at the youngest generation. We believe that it starts with the youth. We feel like we're, we're the voice of this generation. We need to come out and speak. We have to um, collectively bring all the youth together and march in solidarity. Protests continue across New York from Brooklyn today to Manhattan this afternoon, 11 straight days. I made the decision to end the curfew, and honestly, uh, I hope it's the last time we will ever need a curfew in New York City. And tonight, the mayor making it clear the voices have been heard. We will be moving funding from the NYPD to youth initiatives and social services. The one thing that has been absolutely consistent, I felt it, my commissioners have felt it, that the current 50A law is broken and stands in the way of improving trust between police and community. The issues are black and white. And tonight they are coming together in so many ways. In harmony. We're better united than we are divided. And tonight, the mayor is promising four different changes coming here throughout the city with that police department. You heard him talk about reforming 50A, also redistributing some of that funding toward the youth services, but the exact dollar amount so far has not yet been revealed. The other changes include that enforcement of street vendors will not be the responsibility of the NYPD, and the city will instead now start focusing on hiring community ambassadors at the senior level of their police department. As for protests, Adam, those continue for the 11th straight night tonight. Live at Union Square Park, I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York. And a big test for the city with no curfew for the first time in almost a week. Adam, thank you. In Connecticut, hundreds gathered at Mill River Park in Stamford today for a moment of silence and prayer for George Floyd. The protesters here marched to Columbus Park, where the city's mayor and other lawmakers voiced their support. This march ended outside Stamford Police Headquarters. And this is happening in so many places across the tri state. In New Jersey, hundreds participating in a huge solidarity march around Hawthorne. They held a rally at the Hawthorne Memorial Pool before marching for about a mile to the borough municipal building, chanting Black Lives Matter. Americans are more troubled by the death of George Floyd than the violence happening during protests. That's according to a new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll. Significantly more. Look at this. 59% said they had much greater concerns about Floyd and the actions of police compared to 27% who had they said they had greater concerns about potentially violent protests. A whopping 80% polled say they believe things are out of control in the U.S.